Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2020 and a deal with the Devils with Manchester United. We're taking on West Ham at London Stadium today in a game where hopefully we can actually win with the cameras on because so far all of the matches that I've put on YouTube have been draws apart from the one defeat in the friendlies so we've yet to actually win on camera we're going to change that today as always if you're enjoying the content do leave a like on the video and leave comments they help the channel more than anything and if you haven't done so already or if you're new do consider subscribing and turning on notifications let's get into it so yeah last episode we saw another draw as we were held at home by crystal palace 21 shots not a lot on target really lots of long shots but we just couldn't score once again and of course, we won all five games off camera. So as long as this isn't on, I'm fine. I could just play the rest of the season and we'll not draw any games. We'll win them all, hopefully. I don't want to do that because that's not very fun. But we are going to try and win today. So yeah, five games off camera. And we started off with a win at Molyneux against Wolverhampton. We left this very late. We were losing on the 85th minute. I really thought we were going to lose our first league match here. We're still unbeaten. But thankfully, two injury time goals made sure we got a win. Oh, we did go in front, though. We like these really early goals at the moment. And Jesse Lingard got us going after six and a half minutes. So, good, an early goal. Uh, Wolves didn't take too long to respond, though. Matt Doherty scored on 16 minutes to uh, equalise for the home side. And then it did sort of quieten down a bit. We had a fair few chances in this one, like four or five chances. Wolves had a couple. And it was pretty quiet in terms of goals. That was until the 85th minute when Roman Saez scored for Wolverhampton to give them the lead. And I really thought we were going to lose. I thought we were going to lose our first league game this season. Uh, Luke Shaw, though, had other plans. He scored in the 94th minute. A fantastic goal as well. Shaw with, I think, his first goal. He's been one of the best players this season. Him and Pogba have been the heroes for us. Shaw's been so good. Getting assists as well. He got the goal in 94 minutes. I was expecting a draw. That was it. But no, Daniel James decided he wanted to get a winner. 95th minute. There was only maybe four minutes of added time. And it was 3-2 to us. So a little bit of Fergie time still hanging around at Man United, it seems. A big win against Wolverhampton. Deserved? I don't know. It was a pretty close game, so it could have gone either way. Like I said, five minutes from time, we were losing. Up next was our fourth Europa League group game as we went to the Netherlands to play Utrecht. And this was a 4-0 win away from home. A very routine win here. Um, Utrecht not without their shots, but we were just much more clinical than them. Just a great team performance. And once again, we're trying to give some starts to some younger players Greenwood's one of them and he scored for us 19th minute of the game Mason Greenwood scores to make it 1-0 Pogba scored I think his fifth or sixth for the season that was on 33 minutes so it was at 2-0 uh, the third goal came just four minutes into the second half as a junior van der Velden the Utrecht centre-back put in his own net and then it was 4-0 just before the hour as a Tahif Chong replaced a Lingard who picked up a little bit of a knock in the first half. Uh, Chong scored his first goal for the club on 58 minutes. It was a 4-0 win in the Netherlands. We've qualified from our group with two games to spare, so that's good. Uh, then we've got a 1-0 home win against Newcastle. And again, we had so many shots here. Newcastle had just two shots all game. And I thought this was going to be another stupid draw. We've drawn against teams like Bournemouth and Palace so far this season. I thought this was going to be another one. But no, uh, 78th minute of the game, uh, the only goal coming from Andreas Pereira. Disappointed he didn't score more here. Rashford and Cavani had quiet games. Cavani's on a bit of a goal drought, hasn't scored for a while. Rashford's just not good in this game. And Martial hasn't scored yet. So those two players, Rashford and Martial, are really letting the side down. And Martial, either January or in the summer, if he doesn't buck up his ideas, he's getting sold. Because he's not playing well. So we just edged it against Newcastle. Against Watford, though, we were much, much better. And there were five goals in this game. And they all came in the first half. In the second half, we just decided to stop playing. And that seemed to happen to me. If I'm leading a lot in the first half, second half, there'll be, like, no goals or we'd concede. That always happens to me. But it was a 4-1 win against Watford. And Victor Lindelof scored his first goal of the season in the 11th minute. So an early start once again. Uh, we won a penalty after that, which Marcus Rashford did convert on 20 minutes to score. I think that's the first one he scored so far this season. He missed one in the league. He also had one saved in the cup game against Arsenal where we went out. So Rashford gets a goal here. That's only his third goal of the season, though. He needs to be doing better. Uh, Daniel James made it 3-0 on a half an hour. So that's two goals in three games for him. And then Juan Mata scored his first goal of the season on 35 minutes to make it four. And Mata has forced his way into the first team. I didn't really have any plans for him, but he's turned out to be pretty good. Uh, Watford did respond uh, with a penalty of their own, which Troy Deeney scored, but that was it. Uh, 38 minutes and all five goals had been scored, but it was a convincing win. 4-1. Second half was there's nothing to talk about. And the final match we played off camera was our fifth Europa League group game. And at home against Club Bruges, it was a goalless draw. 
In Belgium, we won 6-0, so we were absolutely dominant in this one. Bruges created a little bit, but we absolutely blew them out of the water in their own stadium. And once again, we played our younger front three. Greenwood, Chong and Gomez all scoring here. And Greenwood got us going after less than 90 seconds, a very early goal, and that was at 1-0, I say, inside two minutes. Uh, after his goal from the bench in the previous Europa League game, Chong started this one and he scored on 28 minutes to make it 2-0. And just before halftime, Greenwood scored his second goal to make it three, and that came in stoppage time. Uh, Angel Gomez scored on 52 minutes, and that was 4-0. So Gomez scoring as well, getting in on the fun. And then one of the defenders decided to have a go, Harry Maguire, with a goal on 68 minutes. That was to make it 5-0, and then number six came on the 82nd minute. Mason Greenwood converting a hat-trick, which is nice to see. And Greenwood's playing well in Europe, so it might be time to give him some league games. Cavani's not in good form, Martial's not performing, so Greenwood's... I think it might be time to give him some league games because he's he's impressed. He's done very well. Uh, but with the game to go in the Europa League, we're looking in a strong position. We've got 13 points and uh, we're doing better than Club Bruges. So we have qualified top of our group um, against Slavia Prague. I think we could probably rotate even more and really play some kids because there's nothing to play for in that match. And we are still unbeaten in the league, as I said. A disappointed to draw against Palace last episode, but we won all five off camera. Uh, we're in third place at the moment, but if we do win this game against West Ham... Uh, we will go top of the table. We're the only side that have not lost yet. And Burnley, the only side that haven't won yet. They're not doing very well. And those five wins in a row uh, mean that we do win manager of the month. Frank Lampard also winning three matches. Uh, Guardiola winning two out of three as well. So we win manager of the month. But on to the game against West Ham. There's also some FA Cup games being played on this day. I think it's the second round. So this is the team that beat Club Bruges. And I'm going to have to change some of it. But we're going to start Greenwood, absolutely. So Lingard's going to replace Chong. I'm going to leave Martial out there. I want to see what he can do. Uh, Matt is going to come back in for Gomez. Yeah, Matt was someone that I was right at the start looking to sell. But the thing is, like, he's just signed a new deal in real life. Like, days before the game starts, he signs a new contract. So uh, there's no point in cash, like, sort of selling him. And he's turned out to be pretty good. So uh, we're going to leave him in there. We've changed up to a 4-2-3-1 as well. We have had sort of Daniela Pereira playing as that um, defensive midfielder in like a 4-1-4-1 sort of thing. But um, Mata has sort of put himself in behind Mason Greenwood at the moment. Uh, Pogba's going to replace Pereira. And I think we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to start Lindelof in place of Twanzebi as well. Um, I'm going to put Rashford on the bench in place of Pereira as well. We'll go with that. We've got Carver in all areas of the pitch, so the bench is good. Now let's see what happens here, because I tried recording this last night, and I got stuck on this, where it said the teams are warming up. Hopefully, it works this time. Here we go, we're okay. Yeah, um, FM released a hot fix like a couple of hours ago, so it looks like it's okay. Um, it was just an issue that I was having, I think maybe because I've got too much, too much stuff open with OBS and Audacity. So uh, yeah, it seems to have been fixed. And also, it's been not doing good for my GPU because it's been very hot when FM has been running. So I don't know what they've done to it. But yeah, I think it's it seems to need a bit more from your computer, FM20, like, um, compared to the older game. Which is confusing because there isn't really that much difference. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But let's see how we can do here. Uh, I really want to win this one. Except when we're on camera. We need to win it. I can't be drawing all these games. It makes me look awful. We have got the best defensive record in the league at the moment. But we need to be scoring goals, and hopefully we'll do that here. Three minutes in, we have our first highlight of the game as Victor Lindelof looks for a forward ball, but Lanzini has cut it out, and he's found Yarmolenko here, and Yarmolenko's had a go, and hey, it makes a save. Do you know what? I think we've got really high lines. I don't want that. Yeah, no, we do not to be. We do not need to be that high up. I still have my bruise tactic set up, I think. Okay, let's uh, see how this goes. We've got a call to defend now, and it's towards goal, and hey, it makes the save. Oh, it's Hilaire, I think. Haller? Hilaire? I don't know how it's said. Luke Shaw on the ball. Harry Maguire. Forward to Pogba. Here's Scott McTominay. Maguire goes long. And he's found Anthony Martial. What can he do? I mean, wingers keep doing that. The wide players keep trying to dribble it in. Please stop. I don't know why he hasn't crossed it to uh, Greenwood there. Or at least squared it to Greenwood. I don't understand it. wan -Bissaka. He can maybe move forward, but no, it's Jesse Lingard and wan is there for the overlap now. And that's a cross. That's a great cross. Martial's got to score that. Is he ever going to score this in this season? That was asking to be scored. Lingard. Switch a play to Anthony Martial. Please do something good, Anthony. Come on. Put a cross in there. Or just lose the ball. That works too. Lindelof does well with a header though. And here's Shaw. Now Luke Shaw can put in a cross himself. 
He's done well to keep the ball there. And Lingard's got to score this, and he does. It's 1 0, 21st minute of the match. And we break the deadlock. Lingard with his third goal of the season. He's doing okay, Lingard. He's not doing too badly. I don't rate him overall life. I think he's rubbish. But Lingard has scored the goal here to give us a 1 0 lead. And Luke Shaw does well to keep the ball from the uh, West Ham defender. And Lingard with a finish at the far post. It should really be 2 0 because Martial should have scored. And that's good. That's the first time we've scored in a long time on camera since the Bournemouth game. So hopefully this will be a win on camera for the first time this season. There is a free kick here for West Ham though. It's headed away by Lindelof though. Not too threatening. Here's Masuaku. And he's gone for goal. <laughs> he's fired it in. Arthur Masuaku. I think he's a left back. Was he a right back? He's definitely a defender. Is he equalised for West Ham? So, so much for that lead. Lanzini headed the free kick away, but not too far. And it's Felipe Anderson sitting at Masuaku, who had a shot just inside the 18-yard box. All right, that's half time. Um, possession's been about the same, but we've had more shots on target than them. Created a couple of chances, a few chances, actually. I'm going to say keep going out there and you can still win. We haven't really controlled the midfield, though. The defending's been okay. Not much we could do about the goal. Lindelof hasn't done great with the clearance, but that's about it. Second half. Let's get back in front, because I really want to win a game. I don't want another draw, please. I mean, Greenwood's not had much to do up top. Martial should have scored. So they're not doing too good going forward. Here's Declan Rice, Ryan Fredericks. Good interception there by Martial. That's good. That's better from him. Just need a goal from him now. Oh, he's going all the way. Oh, he's going all the way. Mar it's a penalty. It's a penalty. That's definitely a penalty. Um, yep, uh, we're going to give this to Rashford, if it lets me choose. I know Pogba's taking it. Okay, Pogba can have it then. I mean, Rashford has missed a couple this season, so yeah, Pogba can have it. If Cavani was on, he'd be yeah, he'd be taking it definitely. And Pogba scored. It's two one. We're back in front, just three minutes into the second half. If Marshall hadn't been caught, then if he'd have scored that, I would have gone crazy. That would have made up for his bad start to the season because he went all the way there. He ran like sixty yards. But Pogba slots home the penalty. We're back in front, and let's see if we can keep that and maybe get some more goals as well. I think Greenwood's going to come off shortly for um, Cavani because he's not really been too involved today. I think Europa League is his forte. So yeah, we are going to do that. Greenwood's going to come off. Uh, Edinson Cavani is going to come on. In fact, you know what? No, we're going to put Mar we're going to put Rashford up top. We're going to put him up front because I've been playing him out wide. Maybe that's not what he likes. It is his most comfortable position. But we're going to try Rashford up front. And if that doesn't work, we'll move him to the left and we'll swap Martial for Cavani. Ayama on a 5.6. He's having a stinker out there. A few tired legs out there as well, though. So maybe attacking players isn't what we need to get rid of. Um, West Ham with a throw in here on 77 minutes. Here is Felipe Anderson. Fredericks to Yarmolenko, who's not done well today. But he finds Fredericks there. He's got space. And he's going to try and put a cross in, is he? No, he's decided to stop on the touchline. And Shaw says, thank you very much. Martial goes long. And Rashford, you've got to score this, Marcus. Oh, my God. What have you tried? Has he tried to chip him? I don't know. Right. Um, I would take attacking players off, but both fullbacks are tired and they're both booked. McTominay's also tired. So, Martial and Rashford are going to swap round. We're going to put Martial up front. I'm going to replace one bissaka with Dalot just to keep it fresh and hope that one bissaka doesn't get booked or something. But we're still winning here into the last 10 minutes. And hopefully we can hold on to this. I do not want a late equaliser. Here is Felipe Anderson. And well won there by Luke Shaw. I'm glad I didn't sub him. Here's Rashford. Martial. Still got it. Mata. Mata's gone for goal. It's just the wrong side of the post. Right, final change. Uh, McTominay is going to come off. And uh, Danilo Pereira is going to come on. We deserve this win. Like the, I mean, the amount of shots and chances we've had is a lot more than them. So I think the win's deserved. It's been a bit, it's been an okay performance. We haven't been terrible. As full time, we have won a game on camera. Hallelujah. Um, I'm going to say that's a good win. Let's have a look at the match stats. I mean, we had four click-up chances, so we maybe could have had more goals than that. We've defended pretty well. I'm satisfied with that. We've won the game. West Ham had some chances, but we've dealt with them pretty well. Uh, but some poor performance in their four nows hasn't really done much. Yarmolenko's had a terrible game. That sends us top of the league as well. We're still unbeaten and we're into December now. If we can get to Christmas without losing, that would be huge. But a win there against West Ham. So I can finally put that to bed now. We've won a game on camera. I know that we've got a very difficult Christmas. 
So I want to try and do that. We've got the Etihad for the Manchester Derby on the 20th and then we host Liverpool on Boxing Day. So we're definitely going to do one of those two games next episode. Um, I don't know which one though. How far behind us are they? See, they're both two points behind us. We could make it a double live con, but the four matches off camera as well, that might be a bit of a long video. So I feel like... It's I feel like we need to see both of those games just because of how huge they are. So what I'm going to do next episode is we are going to play both Man City and Liverpool on camera. We haven't really had a tough league game yet. Our league games have been against Bournemouth, West Ham and Palace. So not exactly big games. We're still not winning them though, so that's no good. Uh, but yeah, we're going to play both Man City and Liverpool next episode. Two massive games around Christmas time. We're still unbeaten. Hopefully we can stay that way until we get to those games. And if we can go into the new year still without loss, that would be huge. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like down below and leave comments. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Next episode, two massive games against City and Liverpool. That's going to be huge and I can't wait. We've not really been tested by a big team yet. Arsenal have given us a tough time. Spurs and Chelsea were just swept aside. So that's going to be interesting to see how we do against Man City and Liverpool and what their teams look like as well. I haven't really had a big look at how other teams have done with their transfers. So that'll be interesting to see as well. Who are they bought and who are they sold? That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.